Hello there, this is Maria here from sharethestories.com.au, crafting soulful brands for women in business. In this tutorial today, I will teach you how to create a good-looking newsletter in Melting. So believe me, many of my clients will be very happy for me to do this uh, tutorial. So I hope you find it helpful, share it with the world, and have fun. Have a lovely day, and see you there. Bye! Okay, so here we are in MailChimp. The first thing that we need to do is click here in Create Campaign. We will click in Select Regular Campaign. Okay, just click in any of the lists that you have and click here in Setup. Name your campaign. I'm going to call my campaign test. Email subject. Um, I will call it um, how to use MailChimp. From name, that would be my, my business, share the story. And um, from email address is maria at sharethestories.com.au. So then click in template. and choose the template that fit the best to your newsletter. So you have a lot of templates here and you can also like fit it in your newsletter. You can add or take out things uh, from the template so it's gonna be fine. Uh, I want to use just this one to get it started. Okay, the best step for a good looking newsletter is to have a nice banner. So let's go to look for my banner. Just click in the image and then click in browse. If you don't have uh, the banner already uploaded, you can upload it here. Just click here or just drag and drop. Drag from your uh, desktop and release it here. On the screen so let's look for my banner okay so I'm choosing this banner for my newsletter um, just clicking save and close uh, a second thing that you need to do is go to design here in the tabs design and just change a couple of things for for example, I like a border to my newsletter, so I'm going to make a border here. Um, I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm going to change it for solid. I'm going to change. You need to change always the pixels here, otherwise you won't see anything. So just make it two pixels, and I'm going to change it to my um, color. So I will make a. Yeah, can you see the border now? Okay, so another thing that I want to do is uh, change the headings. I want to change the heading to um, my, my brand color. That is, uh, that one. Okay, and I think I don't like too much the font, so I'm going to change it to Georgia and to make it um, smaller yeah I think so yeah and make a center so it's all good if you want you can change uh, headings to three and four but for me it's fine like that so save and I'm going to body in the body I'm going to change I hate this really black font so I'm going to change it for maybe this gray. Yeah, that gray is fine. And also I'm going to change uh, the link, the color links. So I'm going to make it, yeah, that's my color. And uh, all the rest is fine. 
underline, yeah, it's fine. Um, one and a half spacing, 16, yeah, it's all good. So save. Okay, then go back to content and just click here. I'm going to call this uh, latest project. Latest. Latest project. And I'm going to copy and paste from my Word document. Okay, um, I'm going to add a picture here. So to add a picture into a MailChimp uh, newsletter, you just need to click here. Let me erase this. Okay, uh, where is the image? Okay, here. I'm going to make it um, 600, no, a little bit less. Okay. And I want the link to redirect to this website, uh, this is a project that I just finished. Um, it's for uh, for Lindsay Blondell. She's an interior designer, and uh, yeah, so I just finished this project, and I just want people to have a look. And so I link to this URL, save and insert image. So if someone just click here, it will be redirect to this website. Okay, so um, save and close. I think this one, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Yep, and make it center. Save, okay. So I want to add um, another section, but before that we are going to add a divider. So it doesn't look like all together. Um, to add a divider here, just click, drag, and drop. Okay, uh, is that color? I don't want it that color, that gray. I just want to change it for my um, brand color. Uh, so you just need to add the color here. Yeah, save and close. If you want to duplicate uh, this, the divider or any section of your newsletter, you just need to click here in the plus sign and it will duplicate and to drag and drop, just click here, drag and drop. Okay, so if you want, another thing that you can do is just duplicate this section, but um, not right now I'm going to uh, just click in text here, drag and drop the section here under the divider. So for this one, I just want to show people a sneak peek of a project I'm working on right now. So um, the title would be a sneak peek of an ongoing project. So Let's make it um, H1 and change the color to my brand color. That would be um, okay. The color bond. I think I got from the color, so then yeah, no, okay. So that's the color, and I want to add a couple of images. So the first image I want to add is the logo concept. So I just want people to have a look at my work, so they know what. I, I'm capable of doing and all my work, the quality of my work and all that. Uh, so, and I'm going to also add um, a style, the style guide for uh, this project. So here is the style guide of the project too. Okay. 
Yep, it's in the middle. Just safe and close. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to add another divider. Just drag and drop just here. And I'm going to add um, like a couple of a section and also a section here because I want to show people the quote of the month and the block of the month. So um, I just drag and drop the caption, the image plus caption, but I want to change these to two columns. So if I click in settings, number of images, I'm going to click in two. So, okay, all good. I'm going to click in browse and look for my blog post, an image. And then here for the quote. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change content. This will, this will be a uh, block of the month. Just make it center. Make it bigger. And uh, just make it. Yeah, and just change the second one. You will have caption one and caption two. Just click in caption two, and I will put quote of the month. Make it bigger, center, and change the color. So, okay. Um, this one needs to be, the first one, needs to be linked to my blog post. So just uh, paste the link here. Okay, another one, another thing that I want to do is just uh, to add like a little bit of my bio. So just, but that will be part of my footer. So I'm just going to take the text block and just drop it here inside the footer so okay I'm going to add this okay that's a little bit of my bio and I want to add an image of me so I'm going to click in a uh, file manager and look for my image okay I will use this one. Okay, that's huge. I'm going to make it smaller. Yep. Okay. Uh, to make it to make the text go around the picture, just click in the picture, and it's align left. Yep. Like I'm going to make this smaller, and also I hate this that is too close. To the to the text, so I'm going to click double click in the image, and it will open again the file manager. And if I click in show image uh, style options, just go to margin and make it ten pixels, right ten pixels, bottom ten pixels. You don't need to do it in the left because the image is just left align so save and insert and you can see so the um the text is now 10 pixels um far away from the picture okay save and close and i want to add my social media links so these links color links i don't like them so i'm going here first i'm going to style i'm going to change the background of that so let's make a um, okay, that's again my color. Container, sorry. Yes, container. You should change. Yeah, okay, so 
as I say, I don't like those icons, so I'm going to settings and I'm going to choose this one. Yeah, looks much better. Okay, so I'm going to add another service. Email is fine. I'm going to add uh, Instagram and LinkedIn. Uh, yeah, it could be LinkedIn on Pinterest. I have been interested. Yeah. If you want another one, you can just add. Let me see if I can find here linking. Yeah, linking. Okay. Uh, you just need to add your uh, social media links here, the link, and that's all. Just save and close. Okay. Let's see how the newsletter looks. So let's click here in preview and test and enter preview mode. Okay, this is how the newsletter will look. Yeah. And uh, just close this. Something that you need to remember is to change this area. So Okay, save and close. And if you want to send a test email for to yourself, so to have a look how it looks, so send a test email and just send the email to, like a test to your email. Okay, um, when you finish and you're done, just go here in confirm. And 100% sure you want to send your newsletter, just click in send. And that's all. I really hope you find it helpful uh, this tutorial. And uh, this will be the first tutorial of a series for melting because it's more complicated than it looks. So uh, this is the first tutorial, then I will do it about forms, how to use the forms in melting. So I hope you find it helpful, you know, like just share it with your friends and colleagues, and have a lovely day. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.